Hi friends, in this video we will try to understand one of the most important questions that are being frequently asked in a .NET interview that is what is the difference between func action and uh, predicate delegates and when to use them this is one of the most frequently asked questions these days so let's try to first understand what are these and with a simple example let me just try to explain the differences and its usage when i say fun it is a delegate for a function that may or may not take parameters and return a value whereas when I say an action it is a delegate for a function that may or may not take parameters and does not return a value predicate it is a specialized version of a func that takes an argument evaluates a value against a set of criteria and always return a boolean value as the result now this is what the differences between func action and predicate function it is a delegate which can take some parameters and it has to return a value action it is a delegate which takes parameters and doesn't have to and does not return a value where i can say the return type will be void so an action can point to any method that takes parameters and does not return a value predicate it takes the parameter and always the return type for the predicate will be a boolean for understanding these three things let me show with a simple example how to use these three in spite this particular three features are widely used with the link concepts and entity model let me just try to use them without using the link or entity now just to understand this particular thing let me just try to define a simple code like say i say fun i say i'm going to pass an integer a string as well as a decimal and it is going to return a string so now what i have done is i defined a delegate which can refer to any method that accepts an integer string and decimal as an arguments and the return type should be string for example i say show employee equal to new this thing and i just say create employee so create employee is going to be the method which is going to refer to this now let me just try to generate this method so we can just try to observe it so create employee is a method which is trying to take this parameters i can assume this argument one is an employee number argument name is the employee name and argument three is nothing but the salary i just try to return a string i say format employee number a value employee name and a salary sorry so i just try to pass the employee number employee name as well as salary 
So now we can just try to observe it. Func is going to be a delegate which is going to take some parameters and returns a type. And this particular function employee, it is a delegate which is referencing to a method called this create employee. Now I can just simply specify show employee, employee number, employee name, some salary. Likewise, when I say an action, I already informed that action is going to be a delegate which refers to any method that accepts parameters but it does not return a value. For example, to understand this, let me try to take action. I am going to take a parameter called a string and one more parameter called the string. So this is going to be a delegate which refers to a method that accepts two parameters and returns nothing. So I simply say new and I just try to specify show full name. Now what is the show full name is? It's going to be a method that is going to accept two strings but this is not going to return any value. I can just simply say name or So whenever you wanted to define a delegate that refers to some particular method that accepts some parameters and returns nothing, then we take the support of action. Now I can simply say get full name. I can pass the names. Next. Whereas we have one more type of delegate which is introduced for us that is predicate. When I say predicate, predicate is going to be a delegate which takes some parameters but always the return type is boolean. So I simply say is greater than 100. Some particular method I just try to specify. Let me generate this method. Now, I just wanted to simply specify return object is going to be a uh, hundred. If this is going to be this thing, I say true, else false. Now I can simply say is greater 80. So this is a simple program that explains you the differences between action function as well as predicate delegates. Now let me just try to execute this. So we can just see that the first one we have generated the output, the next one is going to give me a name called a shaker string verse and the third one is giving me a result as false. Hope you are clear with the differences between func, action and predicate. So, when you get this particular question in interview, I hope you can easily answer now the differences between func, action and predicate. Happy coding!